In this video, what I want to do is go through PDFtron's web viewer viewing of PDFs, MS Office, CAD, images, and videos. Let's jump in. Now here I have a PDF document loaded up in front of me. As you can see, it's nine pages. I can navigate it by scrolling the pages, using the page nav controller to change the pages over, or just enter the page number that I want to go to directly. I can also use different page transition modes to switch it from continuous to page by page. If the page orientation comes in incorrect, I can rotate it clockwise or counterclockwise as necessary and change the page layout to go from single page to double page for presentation. Also over, I can zoom in to different values. I can start anywhere between 10% to something crazy like 6,400%. I can also use marquee zoom tool to zoom in to very specific and get a detailed rendering uh, of the exact region that I want. Now, in terms of the file formats that we can load up, we can use PDFs, MS Office documents, and images. And what's going to happen here is that rendering will take completely client-side. So we don't need to introduce any server-side infrastructure or dependencies. For example, here I have an Excel spreadsheet that I can go ahead and open. I can open up a MS Office uh, document right here for a sales and purchase agreement. And uh, I can also open up CAD document. There's lots of detail that I want to zoom in. So here what I'm going to do is use marquee zoom tool capability to really zoom in on the specific region. And as you can see, there's quite a bit of a detail that we can keep going and keep rendering that really complex drawing. Wow, that's amazing. And right now we're sitting at 14,162%. PDFtron's web viewer is also capable of opening video files like MP4, OGG, and WebM, again, directly inside of the browser. And there's various different play controls available. Uh, you can control the speed, the playback, the looping. To get familiarized with all the file format that PDFtron's web viewer offers, you can go to this page right here where we list out uh, different file formats. Now, we support all the versions of PDF, PDFA, XFDF and FDF. Uh, we support DOCX, XLX, PPDX, and other Office document formats. We support CAD documents like DWG, DWF, DXF, PGN, and Webit, as well as image formats and video, and other formats that, well, didn't fit into any other categories. Now, here you can see that there's three different columns, client only, web viewer server, and custom server. Client only offers rendering completely inside the browser without need of any server side dependencies. The middle column, Web Viewer Server, is kind of like a hybrid approach between client side and server side rendering. For the file formats that Web Viewer is capable of rendering completely client side, it will do so. For the file formats that are too large and better suited for the server side, it will leverage Web Viewer Server, which it comes as a Docker container. Now, Custom Server is pre converting ahead of the time everything into PDF format. 